card of the week time. This week, I'm going back on my word a little bit. While it wasn't exactly meta relevant, it did get a top at 2005 uh, SJC in Houston. You can tell by the title, we're talking about Ben K today. And we're just going to talk about how I appreciate this card, pretty much. It's going off the rails, this series is in the trash. All of our two regular watchers are really disappointed. Let's get, let's get right on with it. Armed Samurai Ben K is a level 4 Dark Warrior with 500 attack and 800 defense. And his effect is, for each equipped card equipped to this card, it gains one additional attack during each battle phase. Good. Good. Alright. So I'm sure you can see where that's going. So if, if you don't know what Ben K OTK was, this is the best deck in the game. So you summon this, this guy here. And you know what you do? You equip him with like four or five equip cards and go to town. Because it gains an additional attack. An additional. He already has an attack. So he's equipped with another one. He has two attacks. Two, three attacks. You know. Onward and onward. He can attack up to six times a turn. Technically, if your opponent also equipped him with equips, he could have up to like, uh, what is it? 11 attacks in a turn. Which would be pretty crazy, if you really think about it. Would be pretty crazy. Oh, man, good yawn in the middle of a video. Man, I wait for people outside to stop yelling to record, and then as soon as I start recording, cars are making really loud noises outside. It's fun. It's great. It's a great time. But yeah, Ben KOTK, according to YuGiotopDex.com, it only has three total tops in May of 2005 and only one is listed with a deck list and it has no other usage so Ben K is a very niche card but you know he did make a grand splash let's go over the, the packs he's been in so he's been a common in Flaming Eternity a common in Dark Revelation 3 a common in Structured Deck Warrior Triumph a common in Legendary Collection 3 Yugi and a rare in Duelist League 14. So, you know, highest rarity is uh, Purple Ben K's. Buy him out now. Purple Ben K, he's gonna be meta. This is the deck I wanna take the Worlds. If I ever went to Worlds, I wouldn't take it seriously. And I would just go in and play something like Ben K OTK. Because this game, <laughs> this game is a meme. It's a game when you get down to it. What do you win? Oh, you win a card that you can maybe sell. You don't win money, you get a card. He's like, ooh, cool. I get <laughs> second place gets PS4. I get a card. Yeah. Uh, you know. let's, let's talk about why I appreciate Ben K. So this little mother trucker here, you know, equip him with three mage powers and two psychic blades, and you're ready to go. You just pfft, obliteration through the your opponent, man. <laughs> it's pretty strong stuff. Psychic Blade is a very good card. We're going to talk about also Power of the Guardians. So Power of the Guardians is a super rare that came out in Extreme Force, I think. And it's like every time you attack, you put a spell counter on it. And that monster gains 500 attack for each spell counter on it. Or something like that. And if it would be destroyed, you just remove a spell counter instead. Something like that. Or if the monster would be destroyed, you just destroy the card. But you get where I'm going with this. You equip it once, you equip it with four other cards. All right, cool. So you got five, you got six attacks. Each time you attack, you're increasing your attack for a total of 3,000 extra attack at the end of it. So regardless, you have a big mother trucker out there. You know, if you, <laughs> if your opponent's still alive somehow. Granted, you know, this is Ben K. He has no protection. He's a little weak. He's a weak kind of bad guy, but what can I say? <laughs> you can't lance him, otherwise he'll become, you know, 500 attack. Or zero attack. <laughs> he will be a zero attack, but he can still attack that many times that uh, you have equipped. You know, broken, right? Ben K is a pretty cool guy. Oh yeah, Power of the Guardians. Very underrated card. Works great with Ben K. Same thing with Psychic Blade. It's because equip cards... Alright, I guess that's the top of his video. Equip cards. Equip cards... 
are so bad now. They're only used with Isold, and you use like two of them. What do you use? Uh, Phoenix Blade? Yeah, because you don't even use that to equip unless you absolutely have to. Also, just noticed my girl is in the video. Say hi. Kinda dirty. Whatever. But, uh, yeah, you use Phoenix Blade and, like, Living Fossil. But Living Fossil is, like, a generically good card. It's just Premature Burial for level 4 lowers. Speaking of Premature Burial, Overdone Burial. Where'd you at, dog? Why no one playing you? Sad. S graveyard Setup and Revives a Monster? I'm a dead bad item. That card's a sleeper. I feel like one day that card is just gonna be broken and it's gonna be a $50 secret. And you should have bought them when they were like, what are they, like 50 cents? <laughs> like $2 maybe? Yeah, you should have got that card when you had the chance. Overdone Burial. Buy out that and buy out Ben Kane. You're good to go. Good to go. But yeah. You know, back in the day, equip cards used to kind of mean something. <laughs> when you were equipping them to Gear Freed with, uh, you know, when you're equipping Elma to Gear Freed with Magical Library on the field and just drawing out your deck. That's the only time equip cards ever mattered. And Bankai OTK. <laughs> nah. Uh, equip cards used to. I don't know. They're looked at kind of similarly to how traps are looked at now. They're just too slow. Quote unquote. They require your monsters to do anything. But I mean, still, like, you equip someone with Psychic Blade and you pay the max, and that motherfucker is strong. Psychic Blade is a very good card, not Psychic Sword, Psychic Blade. But, yeah, they looked at how traps are looked at. No one plays them except, you know, the good ones. The ones that they need to play. Like, <laughs> Trap Trick. People are playing Trap Trick. So you can, uh, set that evenly matched, you know. <laughs> Straight from deck. It's like all the, uh, all the traps now are just regular hand traps, so there's no reason to set them, except for impermanence. Impermanence has a reason to be set. That card is just dumb, by the way. <laughs> it's bad. I'll say it. Impermanence is bad. Believe me. Believe me. It's bad, it's ugly, it's too expensive, it's gonna get reprinted as a common in a structure deck. Just you wait. <laughs> Eventually it will happen. Ash is next and then it's impermanence. Just wait, my guy. Just wait. Bell won't get a- Bell will be a super and a special edition or some shit like that. So impermanence is gonna be a common in a structure deck and Bell's gonna be in a 10. Crazy. And Ash is gonna be a common in a starter deck. <laughs> Imagine! Oh my god. Alright, so... Price points. This guy's cheap. He's under a dollar. Probably under 50 cents for everything except those League. Those Leagues are like a dollar fifty. So, you know. Big spending. Let's go look at him right now. I still need to... Oh no! Trolling Toad! I'm gonna have to dead that item. Sorry. I don't... Homie, don't play that. Homie, don't play that. Anyways, guys, I think that's gonna do it for this video. I got an order, I gotta take out the trash. You know, <laughs> you know it, you love it. So, you know, be sure to like, subscribe, so I've heard those forever. Next week, it's a surprise again. We'll be seeing you. Peace.